What's up, Dykes fam? I just had my birthday, and now I'm doing 30 questions about me. But before we do that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Nicoy Dykes, and I'm 11 years old. I just barely turned 11. Now I'm gonna answer 30 questions about, wait, what? About me? Oh my gosh, okay, are you recording? Oh. And your dad's gonna ask you the questions, right? Yes. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, Nikoi, the first question is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow, black, and teal. Oh, so you have favorite colors. Colors. <laughs> But you do kind of like all the colors, don't you? I like every color. It was kind of hard to choose a color. <laughs> McCoy, do you have a favorite toy? I like playing with animal toys. I have a lot of cat ones. I have some big cats like lions and tigers. And then I have some just normal cats. So you're basically like a cat lady? Yeah. Do you have any pets? Yes. Mama Mia, the cat. She's my official cat now that we moved down to the farm. That's right, you adopted one of the farm cats down here. Uh -huh. huh? And she just had baby kitties. Yes, she did. And they're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> what colors are they? Um, There's a black one, and then there's a white and gray one that looks just like her. Oh, she's white and gray? Yeah, she's white with gray spots. What is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is probably jackfruit and honeydew, but I love almost every single fruit you put on my plate. What is your favorite vegetable? I love corn on the cob. I don't really like any other vegetables though. Unless they have sugar on them. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is probably Mamma Mia 1 and number 2. Wait, is that a cat movie? No. <laughs> It has humans in it. <laughs> oh, but your your pet cat's name is Mama Mia. Yeah, that's why I named her Mama Mia. Oh, because she's a it. mom, and I like Mama Mia. <laughs> what is your favorite food to eat? My favorite food to eat is probably enchiladas. My neighbor made it for us one time, and I love her enchiladas. Her enchiladas are the bomb.com. Yes, bomb.com. What is your favorite game to play? Football tag. My dad helped us make it up. It's a fun game. It's just tag, but the ta the tagger it ha has to throw the football at you, and if it touches you, then you're it. And it's funnest to play it where? On the playground, because then you can have some cover. Yeah, and we use a soft football, right? Yeah, a squishy one. <laughs> what is your favorite candy? All of them. I love every yeah. single candy except the spicy ones. What is the famous candy that you used to always say? I love gummy bears. You used to be a big gummy bear fan, huh? Yeah, I love gummy stuff. That's like my top thing. I love Haribo candies because they come in sour, they come in sweet, and they're all gummy. What is your favorite animal? Dogs and tigers. I love dogs and I love tigers. My favorite tigers is a Siberian tiger and Bengal tiger. I thought you were a cat lady, though. You just said dogs. Dogs and cats don't mix. <laughs> Well, sometimes they do. Wait, are you are you gonna be the tiger queen someday? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully not. Not. <laughs> what is your favorite song? My favorite song is probably "Good Things Fall Apart" by John Bellion. Okay, sing us some of it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't hide down there. <laughs> you want me to sing it for him? Sure. No, you sing it. <laughs> yes. Go for it and hit it. <laughs> I can't. Coming to terms with the broken heart, I guess that sometimes good things fall apart. <laughs> You're so cute. Do you have a favorite book? I like Dog Man. It's about an evil cat and a dog-headed cop. And they get along really well? No, the evil cat's name's Petey and he always tries to destroy Dog Man. See, but that's, you're a cat lady. That's why <laughs> cats and dogs don't mix. Sometimes <laughs> they do, <laughs> hopefully. All right, so besides cats and dogs, who's your, who are your best friends? Uh, my best friends are probably Brinley and Brielle. They are on my so on my softball team for two years. And then Sophie and Kahal, my two best friend neighbors. And then my dad. He's the best. Oh, come here. Oh. 
I, oh, oh yeah. Natalia was on there too. Yeah, that's right. Natalia, can't forget Natalia. Jeez. She's your bestie. Best. <laughs> but just tell these guys I didn't pay you to say that about your dad. He didn't. I wrote it down and I said it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite thing to do outside? I like to hang on stuff like monkey bars and just random bars. <laughs> Money, money, hey, hey, I'm leaking. This is why hanging around isn't necessarily a good idea. Swim. <laughs> she just had money fall out all over the ground. Wow. Lots of quarters. So you like hanging around? Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite drink? Cream soda. I love every kind of cream soda there is, like pineapple cream soda, Berg's red cream soda, mango cream soda. That was good. Does it have sugar in it? Yes, <laughs> but one of my favorites is like vanilla cream soda. It's delicious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite holidays? <laughs> I have a few, and they all involve candy. <laughs> I like Easter, Halloween, and Christmas. Because there's lots of sugar involved. Yes, and then you don't, and you don't have to pay for the candy yourself. What about Valentine's? <laughs> <laughs> have you not gotten a good sugary Valentine from somebody? No, cause I don't want one. <laughs> if you had a million dollars today, what would you buy? Ooh, I would buy a. Big, big, big house. Uh, I would buy, well, the storage room would have to be full of candy. And then I would buy a pool. That's full of candy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want a horse. A horse that eats candy? <laughs> a unicorn horse. Okay. What's something that you like to collect? Uh, rocks and crystals because I think like sedimentary and metamorphic and igneous are super cool how they're different and I like crystals because they're like shiny and geodes too. What about sugar rocks? <laughs> Rock candy. candy rocks. <laughs> <laughs> what is something you're afraid of? Question mark? Yes. I have no clue what I'm afraid of. I'm not really afraid of anything. What about eating a bad piece of candy? Ha ha ha. You're hilarious. Or eating one that you think is sugary, but it's actually spicy. Oh. <laughs> Does that terrify you? No. I've done that a lot of times. Yeah, but you've had some bad dreams that you've been really scared of. Oh, I'm scared of my imagination. That's what I'm scared of. I, I have too good of imagination that I just think of the creepiest things. So your imagination scares you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you do really well? Take things or scraps and make them into something like new and cool. That's What's cool. something you've done recently like that? Um, me and my cousin Natalia, we actually made a teepee out of sticks that broke off trees and we used bricks from a like a broken down little shack and then we used tin from like that flown off other sheds and we made a teepee. It was really cool. What is your favorite sport to play? You mean sports? Yeah, sports. I really like softball. I I love softball and gymnastics and soccer. Those are like my three top ones. Do you have any nicknames? Yeah, I have Koi, I have Coco, I have Coco Beans, and then I have Princess, but only my dad can call me that. <laughs> what is your favorite subject in school? Writing, I love writing. Whenever my mom or my teacher will say, write a simple story about this and this, it will be like two pages and a half long. <laughs> what is your least favorite subject in school? Language arts. It was always so hard for me. I just don't like it, it takes time. <laughs> Language arts rhymes with farts. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> How do you like being homeschooled this year? I want to go to school. Why? I, um, because you can see your friends and it's just way easier to learn. Because even if you know it or you don't, your teacher will stand in front of you and teach you exactly how to do it. And you do it. It's easier than sitting down by yourself trying to figure it out. <laughs> so you like seven hours of school versus one hour because you get to see your friends? 
I mean, I like the time of homeschool, but I don't like everything else about homeschool. <laughs> Do you have a crush? Yes. <laughs> What's his name? Where does he live? Um. I'm gonna go have a chat with him. <laughs> I'm not telling you his name. I don't know where he lives though. I'm not a stalker. <laughs> well, just know if I ever find out who he is and where he lives. <laughs> He's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Where do you want to live when you grow up? On the farm. On the family farm? Yes. Why? Because I think it's cool that we could be around like everybody and that what I've always dreamed for is our whole family just to build a cul-de-sac around the farm and so we just always be together and we could just all run to everybody's house and be like, hey, can you play? We're going to play a family game of soccer or anything we want to. You know, if I get old though, you're going to have to change my diapers. I changed your diapers. You know what? Maybe I'll live over there. If you could go anywhere in the world on vacation, where would you go? Probably to Pigeon Forge, Florida. Oh, actually the Bahamas too. The Bahamas was fun. There's so much stuff to do there. And then Florida was just fun and had so many theme parks to go to. But Pigeon Forge was just like the ultimate vacation like destination. It was cool, huh? Yeah, there's so much stuff to do. You'd probably have to stay there for almost a month to do everything there is. You want to go back there and visit sometime? Yes, we should bring our whole family and just have like a vacation there. If you had to live in a different Different country, which one would you pick? Nkoi Island or England? I don't know why. I've always thought of England as like so cool and their words are really cool too, how they're different. And then I've always wanted to live at Nkoi Island because obviously that's my name. <laughs> Jollyo. Jollyo. Good day, mate. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's, that's Australian. <laughs> British. British people say. Um, tell me something to say. Tell me something to say. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> Tell me something to say. Don't Jolly good. <laughs> no. Jolly good, sir. Okay, do your British accent. Um, uh, look out there. Don't you see that dog in the distance? He's herding sheep. <laughs> That's what they say in England? <laughs> no, obviously not. Okay, what is your favorite thing to do with your mom and dad? I love playing sports, especially gymnastics, because it's funny watching them try and imitate me. It's hilarious, and when we play, it's so fun because they're just fun to play with. So your mom and dad don't suck, is what you're saying? No, they oh. don't. They're athletic, and that's what's good about them. <laughs> but not very flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite thing to do with your siblings um, besides play sports with them? I like to draw with them because it's cool how to see how everybody draws and actually how I got good at drawing is from Tane just sitting down with him drawing and that's he when he was four he was drawing so well so I just would sit down with him when I was little and just draw with him that was like my favorite thing to do do you want to get married when you're older yes I want a family and I want to be a mom <laughs> how many kids do you want I want four or five. Teen or fifteen? Wait, how many kids? Four. Teen? Five. Teen? <laughs> that doesn't work. So four or five kids? Yeah. And what's their names gonna be? Uh, I haven't thought of their first names yet. I'm too young, Dad. <laughs> Fall into you. How many boys and how many girls? I want three boys and two girls if I have if I have five, but if I have four, I'm gonna have two I want two girls and three and two boys. Are girls more dramatic than boys? I don't <laughs> I don't know. I am one. Um how many states have you been to in the US? Thirty seven states. Out of how many? Out of fifty, and I still have thirteen to go, but I'm coming to you thirteen states. Was that a fun trip to go travel the U.S. in an RV? Yeah. Yeah? Question mark? <laughs> I really missed home. Aww. I wish we could like go on a like three months and then come back and then go on another three months instead of having to go and just keep going and going and going and not. So just shorter trips. But... Yeah, shorter trips. But I, I, there's like one place that I've been wanting to go so bad is Hawaii, but my, my parents said that we were gonna go, but sometime. Yeah, later. we can't go right now. Nope. So besides the USA, have you been to any other countries? Is Bahamas a country? 
Yeah. Okay, well, I've been to the Bahamas and obviously the U.S. So. My heck, you're a world traveler. <laughs> oh. I've been to two. <laughs> what religion do you belong to? I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And how long have you been on YouTube? Um, I've been on YouTube for six years. And we started YouTube when I was five years old. Is that crazy? Yes. Did you know most of your life is documented on YouTube? Yes, even when I was born. Is that awesome? Yes, because then I can remember so many things that I don't remember now. How would you describe yourself in three words? Creative, cool, and flexible. So creative, cool, and flexible. Yeah. Okay. All right, Nikoi, that's been fun interviewing you today. <laughs> yeah. If these guys want to ask you some more questions about you, where can they do that? On Instagram. Make sure to head over to Instagram and ask me some more questions. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Dykes fam. We love you.